thank you for coming into the channel. Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia, here at Gosford. Some of you right now are suffering from an extraordinary breakup. The signs were on the wall, you were spoken to, you were asked to fix things. You're probably or possibly the reason for it. Something inside you blocked you from listening to what you should have listened to. You didn't pay attention to your partner's needs. This has left you in a position of vulnerability and given the person a right to say no, I don't want to continue like this, I'm not happy with this. And they've left. You now have an opportunity to look at what habits you're doing or using that have caused this situation to get to where it has. You need to take stock of where you're at psychologically and where your maturity and character's at within the relationship, your relationship capabilities may not be what they should be. A lot of people don't want to hear this sort of talk, but this is the truth. Um, all too often we struggle, we battle, we make things far hard for ourselves because we stick to our pride. We think, well, I've got this right. I am who I am. This is what these people need to follow. You get people connected to you and then all of a sudden you've just made it too difficult for people to follow you. You've just made it too hard. And you can't work out why there's all this trouble. You need to stop and evaluate yourself. Evaluate where your thinking is, what your habits are, what's detrimental. As far as it depends on you towards a relationship, what impacts these things are having on your relationship. How important is a relationship? See, people forget really quick what it's like to be lonely. People get sidetracked by the presence of children and all this other stuff that they think is going to compensate for the relationship not going the way that it should. And it doesn't work. It causes confusion, sadness, it ransacks other people's genuineness. You know, and people take relationships like it's a game. Some people just go from one person to the next like it's a game, but they don't understand the destruction that they're leaving behind them. Some of you are pining over ex-girlfriends and boyfriends that don't deserve your time. They don't deserve any more of your thinking or your mind. And you can't seem to find a way out of your devotion to these people. You have to look at truly how they have treated you. You have to look at what you have done to contribute to where things ended up. And if you were genuinely doing your best and that person hasn't honored that, why would you give them any more of your time? Why would you bother? If things have just broken down by way of it's run its course, then it's not about blame or who done right and who done wrong. Things just didn't work out. Accept that and move on. Move on to what? Well, move on to a good diet. Move on to some exercise. Move on to good sleep. Move on to learning more about life. Move on. Go out for a walk. Get friends that are sensible. Get rid of the friends that are stupid. Get away from drugs and alcohol and 
nicotine and all these things that are going to destroy you, kill you, live, live. Read books, listen to audios. You can be out walking and listen to audio now that and learn on the run. You can learn on the run. You don't have to lose time, you don't have to waste time. You can do it all mobile. Some of you have given too much time to people that have taken you for granted. You've given too much time to hostile family members that couldn't care less about whether you're coming or going. You've been caught in collusions, covert collusions that have caused you terrible grief and hours and hours of contemplation which has led to trauma. Nobody could care less. You're just trying to deal with these impossible, stubborn, horrible, come on, people that couldn't care less about you or anything else. You need to get your identity back. You need to get your person back. Stop making yourself subservient to people that don't deserve your fire your person life is fair there are boundaries and rules for healthy living and the dark value system modern value system of today is taking that away it's robbing that from you and it's causing confusion and a um, to and fro mentality that's leading people into situations that aren't good for them that are of no benefit to them. And that's not healthy. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Jump now to me skin. Um, there are boundaries and standards and things that you have a right to ask for and live by to protect your mental health and your physical health. If you're around hostile people and these people are just too complicated and difficult to get on with, leave them. Leave them go. They'll go on without you. What makes you think they think you're so important? You're not as important as you think. Otherwise, things wouldn't be the way they are. Everything comes back to value. Your value for yourself, the person that you're with's value for you. And if one, one's missing, then it ain't going to work. One way or another, it ain't going to work. That's all there is to it. Values and standards are there for a reason. And they're there to protect you. And to help you succeed. That's what they're there for. And if you leave those values and standards and think you can live by some other way, let me assure you, you will suffer from trauma. You will experience a tremendous pain. Your health will decline mentally and physically. And this can um, be contributed to turning to um, turning to medication, um, nicotine intake. Here, come here, mate. In here, good boy. There he is. Come on, mate. Um, and other forms of and means of trying to find. Um, peace usually they're not even a band-aid they only make things worse you have to get serious about yourself 
come back to yourself. Make some boundaries around yourself. It's not selfish. If you've been abused and people just aren't going to get it right for you, you're better off on your own. I know that sounds hard and that sounds terrible, but no. You'd be better off on your own. Start again. Start again. You say, aren't you a Christian minister? Aren't you supposed to keep people together? No. No. It all comes down to the way people are treating one another. And if somebody hasn't got the value and the maturity, and I've seen this time and time again, people trying to hold people together that are just sad and miserable and unhappy. No. When it's time to leave and get fixed and get therapy and get counselling and get better, it's time to leave. That's all there is to it. I'm Reverend Dr. Day, W. Morrison, Theologist, the Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Thank you for joining me and bye for now.